Extraordinaria interpretación, la gente aquí al borde del llanto. Y ahora el saludo protocolar de FIFA, Chicago Nation, que está saludando al cuarteto arbitral, el señor Benjamin Davis, línea 1 Jordan Schultz, el 2 Kevin Sánchez, el cuarto Jason Ulrich. Underway for a 360 Pro in possession. They are in the black and orange, moving from right to left on your screen, and oh boy, we... Gran trabajo de la organización de la UPSL. ¡Centro Valle, gol! ¡De Foro! ¡Gol! ¡De Foro 360 Pro! ¡Final de partido! ¡Campeón! ¡Campeón Foro 360 Pro! Venció 1 a 0 a Chicago Nation con el gol de 
Bayas a los 33 con el Dios del Arco. Con Zeus, con un gran partido de sus marcadores centrales. De Nickerson, de Magnin, con la solidez y con la generación y con la... ...asistencia de Garbini. Parece anticipo goleador de Bayas. Con un Ochoa movedizo, atrevido, con un gran plantel, pero sobre todo con un estratega, con un entrenador como Diego Saltrón que enalteció a la United Premier Soccer League. Salud campeón, Foro 360 Pro es el campeón de la United Premier Soccer League Elite Division. Welcome to the UPSL 2022 Spring Season Playoffs. We have now reached the quarterfinal stage of the tournament, the semifinals in the eastern side of the bracket. Chicago Nation FC hosts Queensboro FC2 at Mercy Health Sports Score 2 Stadium in Illinois. Provida Sports, my name is Ryan Davis, and we look forward to this incredible matchup where Chicago Nation had to go on the road to beat Minneapolis City by one goal to nil, eventually getting over Global Rising SC by two goals to nil to get them to this position. Queensboro FC 2, they went, they were at home. They beat Santa Cruz FC by two goals to one. And then a 4-1 thumping of RO City boom at home to get them to the semifinals of the Eastern Conference quarterfinals overall of the UPSL Spring 2022 playoff bracket. So West Regional Finals in Illinois, beautiful sunshine. Can't ask for more for this summer weather. It is going to be the host, the Mercy Health Sports Score 2 Stadium in Illinois, Chicago Nation, of course, the host, Queensboro FC, visiting. And it's going to be detailed. My name, Ryan Davis. You can follow me at Ryan Davis, C O Y R, on Twitter. Proud to announce and be part of this incredible UPSL 2022 spring season produced and presented by Veer Sports. We will have the starting lineups shortly. Stay tuned. We'll be with you for the entire presentation and production of this quarterfinal match for UPSL 2022 spring season playoffs. Chicago Nation FC hosting Queensboro FC2. Stay tuned for starting lineups and the national anthem.
Welcome back, UPSL 2022 Spring Season Playoffs between Chicago Nation FC and Queensboro FC 2. Brissy Health. Mercy Health score, sports score two, Loves Park in Illinois. We'll be hosting this event. And of course, the USL, Chicago Nation FC. United Premier, United Premier Soccer League is sanctioned by the US Soccer and sits in fourth division on the US Soccer Pyramid along with USL2 and the NPSL. UFPSL is the nation's is the largest national semi-professional league in the USA with over 400 teams. We are back in Illinois for the West Region Finals. We have a look at the Queensboro FC in their purple kit. Visitors and Chicago Nation in the white kit hosting. There is the referee squad for today, all four of them. So good to have this sort of organization, this sort of interest in UPSL soccer throughout the nation. Fourth division, US soccer. And it could not be in a better place. The current energy, the current attitude towards soccer just growing tremendously throughout this nation. We are proud to be a part of this UPSL 2022 spring season. Chicago Nation, of course, reaching the last four of the fall season, eventually losing to Forum 360 by a goal to nil in the semifinals. Reed Strain, their captain, played that match. He was one of the standout performers in defense for the Chicago Fire. He's back again to captain this team in the starting lineup today. We'll have those starting lineups shortly right after the national anthem so the teams are set they're on the sideline and here comes chicago nation fc on the left hand side in all white and queensboro fc2 in the purple and black kit on your right of the screen Stay tuned, shortly we will have the national anthem and then we will bring you the starting lineups for both of these quarterfinal teams, semi-finals of the East.
national anthem is over, it is time for the starting lineups. And we're going to start off with Chicago Nation, the host team, Peru, Dermene from Mexico in goal, Reed Strain, the captain at center back, number 10, number 18, Arena Sala from Albania, Isaac Sutton, the outside back, wearing number one, number six, six Nick Caliban. He's been sent to defensive midfield. Number nine, Jasminko Zadovich. He'll be in center midfield along with Bowen McLeod at number seven. Up top, Richard Olson, the number, the number 11. Samir Gyasi, the number three. And number five, Mick Mali to complete the starting 11 for Chicago Nation. For Queensboro, it's, it is a U19 team. Starting off, goalkeeper Daniel Alzate, defender Musa Diara, another defender Hans Laser, center back Anderson Holt, left back Fernando Cojate, center defensive midfielder Mario Salguero, center midfielder Diego Fernandez, other center midfielder Joshua Salvedra, right wing Minguk Seau from Korea. Up top, Rashid Willis and Jonathan Santian, the leading scorer for this Queensboro U19 2. was the second team for the Queensboro first team, which will be entering the USL Championship in 2023. Along with Vita Production, Vita Sports, my name is Ryan Davis. Proud to be part of this West Regional Finals, the quarterfinals in the UPSL playoffs, semifinals in the Eastern Bracket, Chicago Nation FC against Queensboro FC 2. Here's the number 14, the leading forward, Jonathan Santion. Santion. They call him Jonah for short. Chicago Nation winning the toss and deciding to face, take first touch. Number 11, Richard Olson. His back is towards us. Playing right wing. Waiting for the referee's whistle. Logan Finnegan gets us on the way and Chicago Nation get us started in this West Regional Finals UPSL 2022 spring season. Chicago Nation, of course, white kits left to right. Queensboro FC2, purple and black, going from right to left. Immediate high press by Queensboro FC. This is a U19 team, the visitors, full of energy. These players for Queensboro FC trying to get a chance to break in to the first team, which will get into that USL Championship division next season. Throw in for Queensboro. Headed down. You can see the presence there already. And the referee calls for a free kick. Too much contact. Looks like Reed strained the captain. Played all the way back. Musa Diara finding Anderson Holt. Goes all the way back to the goalkeeper, Daniel Alzate. This is Anderson Holt going long. That was Olson trying to nod it down with Queensboro get back possession. On the right side, played through on the first touch for the goalkeeper for Chicago Nation, none other than Peru. Emen Gehi, the Mexican, played for Pachuca and has played in all three divisions in Mexican soccer. Talk about experience. 
This one is headed back by Anderson Holt. Immediate high press by Chicago Nation. Holt, out wide, Fernando Kohate, left back tonight. And here's the diminutive Diego Fernandez, the Chileno. Trying to get it back, Fernandez right here, the number 10 for Queensborough, was one of the standout players in the Copa Libertadores U20 Cup in 2020. He was immediately signed and brought into Queensborough FC. Up the line it goes, kept in play. And Santian wins the first corner of the day. Queensborough FC, the visitors, can they strike first? You can see the wind with the flags. It's going towards the goal. So the set piece taker is going to have to put that ball just a little further out by the penalty spot and allow the wind to take it towards the goalkeeper. You can trust this one's going to come right into the living room of Domenegi, the goalkeeper for Chicago Nation. Cross comes in, headed out. Second ball, won by Chicago Nation, who's back to Queensboro, top of the box, and he goes down, and the referee blows for a penalty. Three minutes and 40 seconds in, and Queensboro FC have a chance from 12 feet out to take the lead. Top of the box, and the defender comes flying in. Easy call for the ref referee. Domenegi comes out to talk. No chance. Easy one for the referee. And guess who? Jonah, as they know him by Jonathan Santian, the leading scorer for this Queensborough FC2 team. 14 goals already this season. A man from LA Galaxy 2 can give Queensborough, the visitors, a lead in the opening five minutes. Santiago under the crossbar and it's in. Queensboro FC strike first. Beautifully taken penalty by Santian. Gets goal number 15. And the visitors take a 1 0 lead as cool as you like. Chips it just underneath the crossbar. No chance for Domenegi, Domenegi in goal. And the celebrations well deserved. A careless tackle in the opening minutes. And Santian puts Queensboro in the lead. So, five minutes gone. Queensboro FC 2, Chicago Nation 0. Left side, out of play. Chicago Nation can't find any rhythm right now. Queensborough FC trying to capitalize. They say you're... Here's the penalty kick again. Santian just gets under it, hits the crossbar. No chance for Domenegi. Threw in on the far side. Tries to slip it through, can't. And the left back, Sutton, goes all the way back to his goalkeeper, Domingehi. Out of play, another throw. So Chicago Nation, despite going on a goal, are trying to orchestrate some sort of attack, get some sort of rhythm. And we have a player down on the far side. Seems to be off the field. Nope, he's in the field. 
Looks like the right back holding his head for Queensborough. Here's the number 10, Diego Fernandez, walking over. Number 23, Min Guk Seau, the Korean. There he is in your screen for Queensborough. So, before this game started, Boyaman, 3 0 winners over Lakeland United in the other quarter final in the East. They await the winner of this Chicago FC nation versus Queensborough. Look at the tackle flying in, giving the referee a no doubter, and Santian putting his team ahead with the coolest of penalty kicks. So the visitors take the lead. We have just paused and we're back in play. Far side. Salguero, the centre defensive midfielder, wins the throw in for Queensborough, who seem to have a little more confidence, a little more control right now in the opening eight minutes. The line crowded out. Another throw in. Again, Queensborough just advancing the ball up the field, taking their time. Chicago Nation showing that urgency, but cannot seem to dispossess this Queensboro team. Giving away. Olson tries to slip it through. And it's Diara coming across. Throw into Chicago. It's going to be Logan Finnegan. We'll leave it behind. Sergi. Wazerniak, the right back. 12 appearances this season. The flick on is a beautiful show just over the bar. What a flick on. At the near post, and then an acrobatic effort at the last. First attack for Chicago Nation may bring some confidence to their team. So, nine minutes gone. We're into, into the 10th. Queensboro won the lead, and they have themselves a goal kick. Alzate. This one's long and Queensboro win possession deep into the half of Chicago Nation. The last time they came down this right hand side, they won a corner kick and eventually won a penalty. Rashid Willis leaves it for. It comes a throw. Nation gets ahead to it and finally clears it away. Chicago Nation trying to get sort of rhythm. But Queensboro are pressing. They get to the byline. Ball comes across. And it's in the back of the net. It's 2-0. Rashid Willis slots it home. And Queensboro FC take a commanding 2-0 lead in the 11th minute. Well, every time they seem to come down that right-hand side, something good happens. This time they get to the byline, squares it across. No chance for Duna McGehee. Here's the replay. They get to the byline, squared across, and there's number 19. He converts. One moment. Rashid Willis. Well, Chicago Nation can't believe what hit them.
out of play. Chicago Nation ball. You can see the desperation for the team in white. Referee does not like the spot of the throw. We'll do it again. Well. Santian gave us the lead with the penalty. Rashid Willis scoring to make it 2-0. Minguk, the Korean, played in K1 League in Korea. Now playing left wing tonight for Queensborough. Still a lot of soccer to be played. Only 12 minutes in. But Queensborough have come out and capitalized early. 2-0. Zarevich switching the play to the left back Sutton Nation getting some rhythm getting some touches in players now starting to get a feel for the ball get some confidence but they already have a hole to dig themselves out to great switch of play out on the left hand side Olsen out on the left wing So, looks to be an offside call, free kick to Queensborough. Diara. Kicking with the wind. Queensborough certainly capitalizing on that factor. Azate. Minguk. to be Bowen McLeod the cross deflection and the first corner for Chicago Nation comes after 14 minutes so Queensborough FC2 this U19 team continuing their stride continuing their form 2-0 lead right now, 15 minutes in. Chicago Nation, can they get one back? All the way to the back post, headed out. This one eventually looks going to be going back to Queensboro. Back into the arms of Alzate. Goal kick. Daniel Alzate, number 45, goalkeeper for tonight's contest with Queensborough FC. Given away, here comes Chicago. Play broken up, counter attack. One back by Chicago, free kick now. That was Zadovich going down. Still on the ground, Zadovich. So after Rashid Willis got that second goal in the 11th minute, Chicago Nation have gotten to the last third of Queensboro, but haven't got a good chance on goal yet. Free kick into the box against the wind. Back across the goal, good header. And it's Diara again, he appeals for the goal kick and gets it. So, Queensborough, their path to the quarterfinal, 2-1 winners over Santa Cruz on July 9th. The very next day, 4-1 winners over RO City, ROC City on July 10th. Now find themselves 2-0 up against the Chicago Nation team on the road. Chicago Nation 1-0 winners over Minneapolis on the road. 
Then they were 2 0 winners at home against Global Rising. Now up against it at home. Can they turn things around? Lots of time to do so. Looks like it's Sutton, the experienced left back. Isaac Sutton played in Denmark, the left back for Chicago Nation. Another integral part of the four season success. In the meantime, the number eight, Mario Salguero, seems to be finding his form. And we have a player down. Looks like it's going to be Min Guk Xiao. Here's that replay. Dispossess. Here's Min Guk there with the one two with Salguero. And there's the tackle. Seems to be very clean. Min Guk seems to be up. Immediately they go to the bench. Very sad for the Korean. A big match. They're up 2 0. And he may have to come off just after 18 minutes. Looks like it was Zardovic, the number nine. And the trainer giving the thumbs up. Looks like he can, he might be able to, to continue. Inguk Seo, South Korea. Played for Jeon Book in the K1 League. Known for his set piece ability. So after the players come off on the side, it's going to be a Chicago Nation throw on the far side. Goes back to Diara. Great sportsmanship by Chicago Nation. The ball was kicked out because Minguk was injured. Alzate. It's going to be a throw in on the far side for Queensboro. After an incredible first 10 minutes, courtesy Queensboro FC2, the game has slowed down to a bit of a pattern. The home team starting to get back into it. To the byline again. Tries to hook it, hook it back, ball out of play, goal kick. You can see the desperation by. Dominegi. Just to make sure we get it right, is Demingehi, the Mexican goalkeeper, Peru Demingehi. Look at the press by Queensboro. They want more. They do not want Chicago to settle in and find that rhythm. Diara from the back gets past two. Still Diara. Go Nation got the last piece, but it was a marauding run by the centre back. Diara last shot by Minguk. Deflection and another corner for Queensboro. Left-footed corner, in-swinger to the near post. Again, it's alive. Chicago Nation can't clear it out. Queensboro again. Back heel. Beautiful. The cross comes in. It's still in. Mingu, can he score? The shot deflected. Still alive. And he goes harmlessly past Demingehi's goal. Another corner kick. Chicago Nation can't seem to get a hold of it. Minguk shot and another follow-up 
Looks like it was Joshua C. Siavedra, the Colombian, who got the last say. Twenty-two minutes gone. Queensboro FC two, Chicago Nation nil. Quarterfinals. UPSL twenty twenty-two spring season. The flick on. Harmlessly out of play. Queensboro retrieves. Throw in on the far side. Controlled by Chicago. Starting to get back in the game, Chicago. Free kick for Queensboro. Such crafty midfield of Diego Fernandez, the Chileno, Mario Salguero, the holding midfielder, Joshua Saavedra, the Colombian. Means that Chicago are going to have their hands full trying to dispossess that trio. So going with the win, Queensborough are going to try to put it into the box and make something happen. No, they play it, they go against it, play it short. What do I know? Tiara again, another clever run, but the pass wasn't as clever. Headed by Salguero. This time it is Mingoxio, plays it into Santian, waiting for some support. Chicago Nation forcing him back, gets a piece, appeals to the referee, does not agree. Queensboro ball. Fernando Cojate goes short. Salguero retreats, hold. Good patient by the centre back. Alzate switching the play. Chicago Nation dispossessed. Can they get a counter attack? Zadovich out wide. And it's a one on one chance, and he goes down with the referee call a penalty. He does. Now, Chicago Nation, a yellow card on Alzate. He came out and seemed to have gotten all of the forward. Brilliant through ball, a missed kick by Diara. The forward was in. Alzate comes out and looks like he got all of the forward, which means Chicago Nation have got themselves their own penalty. And it's Zarevich, the number nine. Jasmine Kozarevich, 10 appearances this season. Still, they're talking to the referee. Azate got the yellow card. And the home team with their best chance of the evening to get a goal. Can Zarevich pull one back? Azate trying to make a nuisance of himself in the goal. Zarevich! Oh, and he saves it! Well, the writing may be on the wall for this Chicago team. What a chance to get it to 2-1. And the goalkeeper makes amends. Azate going to his left. Doesn't only push it away, but wraps it up. Not the best penalty kick you'll see. Not as good as Santian's. Alzate read it all the way and made it look easy. Still the score remains at 2-0. Free kick now for Chicago Nation. 
The center forward, Logan Finnegan, the number 16, hands on hips. Referee measuring the wall, reminding everyone, no play till the whistle. So, can Chicago Nation get one back from a more difficult position? Good cross and good punch by Alzate. Good set piece by Finnegan. So, a ball goes out of play. Chicago Nation on the far side, starting to press, starting to get some belief. Long throw. Won by Rashid Willis, the scorer of the second goal. Another throw for Chicago. Right into the mixer. Player goes down. Referee points for a goal kick. So, in case you're just joining us, Queensboro FC win a penalty in the opening four minutes. Their centre forward, Jonathan Santian, puts it away for 1-0. 11 minutes in, they come down the right-hand side. Queensboro get goal number two, courtesy number 19, Rashid Willis. Then, only five minutes ago, Chicago Nation get the ball through. This man, Alzate, brings down the forward, gets a yellow card. And Zardovic cannot convert. Alzate with the save. And the score remains a 2 0. All happening 2022 spring season playoffs, UPSL. Throw in for Queensborough. Musa Diara. Beautiful control by Diego Fernandez. Ask the referee. The Chilean. Just exquisite skill. Wins the free kick because of the high kick. Look at this again. Copa de Libertadores. U20 star. Going long with the wind, Queensborough headed out. Not too sure how much of a factor going with the wind is, but Queensborough has to be, you have to say, have, has made the most of it thus far. We're at Mercy Health Sports Score. Stadium in Illinois. Ryan Davis with Vita Sports, Vita Productions. Thirty minutes it's in, and Chicago Nation advance, going long, headed out by the right back. Referee again pointing to the way of Queensboro. We saw one minor injury. It was Mingok Seo, number 23, on the top of your screen, just walked out of your screen for Queensboro, but he's back on the pitch. And the 4 3 3 formation of this Queensboro FC T2 team thriving in Chicago. Diara, such great feet, has the ability to run past players. Then is this man, Fernandez, with that cultured left foot. 
Ningook going from left to right. Salguero. The shot comes from Fernandez. Was there a deflection? No, it's going to be a Demengehi goal kick. So interesting story from Peru Demengehi, the goalkeeper who's about to take this goal kick. When he was very young, he lost a match, three goals to two. And he no longer wanted to play goalie until he found a pair of goalie gloves in the stands. He took that as a sign from God that he should continue his pursuit of playing goalie. Well, just in case you're interested, he played all three divisions in Mexico, also for one of their star teams, Pachuca. And now he's in the US, continuing. So, Chicago Nation is Diara. Brilliant takedown by Santian, the goal scorer. Look at the control. So much skill, so much talent. Santian on the far side. Again, it goes Queensborough's way. Their tight control, their willingness to support one another means that it's an impossible task for the Chicago Nation to dispossess them. Chicago Nation dispossess, but the referee calls for the free kick. It was Mario Salguero coming in, the number eight. Going short. And this one gets through to Isaac Sutton. Comes from the Chicago Fire Academy. Zardovic. Flanagan. Again, the defensive pressure very much alive from Queensboro. Sutton. Flanagan. Zardovic. Chicago Nation getting some possession, much needed possession. One, two. Getting close and here comes the shot. Oh, good save in the end. Did he get a piece of it, Alzate? Look at the build-up. Had to be 10-plus passes. Shot on top of the box. I know Alzate did not touch it. Goal kick. But what an effort by Chicago Nation. Best build-up. Great shot in the end. Diara. Thirty five minutes gone. The visitors up two goals to nil. Here comes Fernandez. Lays it off. Rashid Willis. Still Rashid Willis. To the byline it goes. Here comes the cross. Looking for Saavedra. Saavedra rather. Still they can't get out. Holt is there. And beautiful bit of control by Chicago Nation to get out of trouble.
Salguero is Holt. Anderson Holt from San Diego. But they signed him all the way from Malaga in Spain. So much talent globally from this Queensborough 2 team. And of course, this man Diara going on another run. Out to the right back. It was Joshua Siavedra out at right back. Getting to the byline. Cross comes in. Player goes down. Chicago Nation thinks it's a dive, but a little too aggressive, and the referee comes across and gives him a yellow card. Little frustration setting in for Chicago Nation. Understandably so. Queensboro have bossed the ball so far. There's the shoulder charge. I have to agree with the nation player. Siavedra made the most of it. Consequently, it's going to be free kick on the far side for Queensborough. Again, going with the wind, they may be inclined to be direct. Referee changes his mind. Lex for the throw in. Tries to turn. Lots of white shirts. There's an appeal for a free kick, and the referee agrees. Chicago Nation free kick deep in their own half. It's going to be Aina Sala, the Albanian, playing it short with his keeper. Now he goes long. Trying to pass in midfield. Chicago. Salguero going short, giving away. Can Sutton get a counter attack? No, they can't. Fernando Cohate. Minguxio. Salguero. Poor pass. Savadera finding, looks to be Rashid Willis. Slight tackle, still. Looks like they're going to call a handball. Played quickly, but not in the right blade of grass. Understandably, Queensborough did not wait for the ball to stop rolling. Very much in control, the visitors. And the dead ball specialist, Min Guk Seau, the Korean, going over. This one definitely not going to be played short. Looking to test the Mexican Deman Demengehi in goal. Seo, great ball across, teasing ball. Looks like it beat everyone. Last touch coming off Chicago Nation. Minguk Seau puts that ball right in the danger area. It was Holt, number four. Couldn't get his head to it. Please bear with us. We've lost our signal. It's going to be a corner kick for Queensborough on the left-hand side. Queensborough FC, two, up two goals to nil over Chicago Nation. To the back post, Diara, the centre-back, and this is the highlight. Diara went down, referee calls for a penalty. Santion 
the centre forward tucks it away beautifully just under the crossbar to give the horse a 1-0 lead. This is after three minutes. And then back down the right-hand side. Ball comes across the goal. And somehow, Rashid Willis gets the second. So goal kick for Alzate and Queensboro. We are in Illinois, Mercy Health Sports Score Stadium. This one goes out wide, no one there. Just a loss of signal. We will get it back shortly. Ryan Davis, Feeder Sports, UPSL 2022 Spring Season Playoffs. Chicago Nation nil, Queensboro FC 2. Taking a look at the highlights again. Santion with the calmest of penalties. And put Chicago Nation on the back foot. Then down the byline they go and they get one to squeeze past the goalkeeper. And it was Rashid Willis, number 19. Now here's the chance for Chicago Nation. A 1v1. Alzate comes out, brings him down, penalty call. But then the goalkeeper, after getting a yellow card, reads it perfectly and makes a comfortable save. And another fantastic effort by Chicago Nation going just wide. <laughs> Chicago Nation, their season, their regular season, 10 games, 7 wins. Two losses and a draw. They scored 19 goals in those 10 games. Well, we've gotten back our footage. Chicago Nation in white going from left to right. Down two goals to Queensboro FC. This U19 team making waves in the UPSL. Their senior team will soon push on and make their debut in the USL Championship in 2023. Mm. Their coach, Diego Gomez Heredia for Queensboro FC has to be in a very, very Peaceful place, being up 2-0. Not comfort, but has to be impressed with his young team. Taking the reins. Free kick on this right-hand side. Can Chicago Nation, with Flanagan standing over it, get one back? Flanagan waiting. Lines one, making sure it's 10 yards. It's Mingok Seau being pushed back. Logan Flanagan, driven across. Corner kick for Chicago. Not many stoppages in this first half. Referee has to be keeping an eye. As Flanagan hurries, Isaac Sutton comes short, gets it. Cross to the 18-yard box.
So, goal kick for Queensborough. We're in stoppage time. And Zate going long. Controlled by Wozniak. Out wide to Flanagan. Waiting for some support. Sutton overlaps. Intercepted by Minguxio. The Korean dances away. The attacking midfielder Fernandez. Santion. Minguk. Minguk. Can he get it back to Santion? He does. Santion, top of the box shot. Goal kick. Lovely interchange between Seo and Santion. Couldn't keep his shot down. Temengehi retrieves. It'll be a goal kick for Chicago Nation. Have to believe that coach AJ Ostrowski is going to be looking at his bench for Chicago to see if he can get something back, some spark up front to encourage and to kickstart the comeback. We are three and a half minutes into stoppage time. Up the line they go. Fernandez dispossessed. But they win it back with Willis, the goal scorer. Down the right hand side, stopped by Strain. And that's the whistle. That is the end of the first half. Queensboro FC 2, the visitors 2. Chicago Nation, the host nil. We'll be back with first half highlights after the visitors grab an early 2-0 lead to take us after 45 minutes. Stay tuned. Se viene Calón, su propio profile, disparo al arco, gol. De 
Calonzi Pro Profile che si mette nel National Final. Here come LAFC Academy in behind the defense. Has he got a finish? He has got a finish. Va a llegar el centro. Viene el tiro libre. Gol. De Foro clasificado al National Final. Tactically, we've been able to um, to succeed that way. Um, I can tell you that our last game versus FC Atlantic, um, I only had four starters on that field, and and I brought um, some players that hadn't even touched the field all season. But based upon the training and then being you know at practice and so forth, we were able to pull off a, a very tough win. Un, un día increíble, ayer eh, se nos suspendió el vuelo, eh, se nos suspendió el vuelo en, en Dallas, eh, tuvimos que poner eh, 14 jugadores en 14 vuelos diferentes, el último jugador llegó hoy a las 8 de la mañana, después de 30 horas en el aeropuerto, eh, bueno, fue un, un esfuerzo monumental los jugadores. The UPSL season has been uh, a really fantastic season for us. Uh, we have a bunch of really great kids, uh, 16, 17, 18 year old kids that have really put a, um, a lot of time and effort into the trainings. Uh, but the matches that we've played this year have been very challenging for us. Uh, we played in the UPSL because we thought that it's going to be competitive for us to continue to compete throughout the season so that we can move the players forward. We've uh, won, I think, uh, three UPSL championship at home. We've also uh, been at regional, I think, uh, two or three times. The first time we actually denied going to regional because of the expenses. Bienvenidos al National Finals. Chiva Rivera al arco. Golazo. Corta carrera, tiró Chumas a cualquier lado, ganó Chicago. Chicago a la final, Chicago Nation es el finalista de la UPSL. Hoy por el tercer puesto se enfrentan LA FC Academy ante Calonji. El pitazo del juez y ahora sí. Arrancó el partido. Side for LFC to go the other way. It's a three on two opportunity in front of goal. A shot and he's missed it. How has he done that? I think it's going to stay a corner or has he given a penalty here? Ganador de Susak. Malpitazo. 3, 2, 1. Vázquez. Gol. De Los Ángeles Football Club. Fabián Vázquez. Cambio penal por gol. Le entró de derecha. El arquero David Magala fue ahí. will take it himself, he'll try to beat the wall, and he has! It's an error from the goalkeeper, but it's a goal no less. And in the 50th minute, we're already level 1-1 between LASC and Kalanji, and who would it be but the substitute, Lagos Kuka? Final del segundo tiempo extra. Penales para definir cuarto y tercer puesto entre LAFC Academy y Kalanji Pro Profile. Si mete Calonji, se queda con el tercer puesto. Recto a la pelota, gran cash. Cash, gol. De Calonji, que se queda con la serie de los penales.
extraordinaria interpretación. La gente aquí al borde del llanto. Y ahora el saludo protocolar de FIFA, Chicago Nation, que está saludando al cuarteto arbitral, el señor Benjamin Davis. Línea 1, Jordan Schultz. El 2, Kevin Sánchez. El cuarto, Jason Ulrich. Underway, 4 360 Pro in possession. They are in the black and orange, moving from right to left on your screen, and oh boy, we've... Gran trabajo de la organización de la UPSL. ¡Centro Valle, gol! ¡De Foro! ¡Gol! ¡De Foro 360 Pro! ¡Final de partido! ¡Campeón! a Chicago Nation con el gol de Bayas a los 33 con el dios del arco con Zeus con un gran partido de sus marcadores centrales de Nickerson de McMinn con la solidez y con la generación y con la asistencia de Garbini para ese anticipo goleador de Bayas con un Ochoa movedizo atrevido con un gran plantel pero sobre todo con un estratega con un entrenador como Diego Saltrón que enalteció a la United Premier Soccer League. Salud campeón, Foro 360 Pro es el campeón de la United Premier Soccer League Elite Division.
Welcome back to Illinois in Mercy Health Sports Score Stadium. Queensboro 2, Chicago Nation nil. First half highlights, Diara going down in the opening three minutes. Easy call for the referee. Leading scorer, Jonathan Santion, delivers with a peach of a penalty to give them a 1-0 lead on the road. Beautifully delivered penalty. Then on the right-hand side, Rashid Willis somehow gets this one past the keeper. Number 19 gets the second goal to give Queensborough a 2-0 advantage. Then Chicago Nation gets a penalty of their own. Player goes down. And Alzate with the save to make it and to keep it 2-0 to the visitors. So what changes will the coach AJ Wachowski Ostrowski, what did he make for Chicago Nation to get them back in this game? As to Diego Gomez Pereira for Queensboro, how would he counteract those changes? All to be seen in the second 45 minutes in this quarterfinal UPSL playoff matchup, spring season 2022. So getting underway, Queensboro in the first half went with the wind and conjured up a 2-0 lead. So, we're getting ready for the second half. It is going to be Queensboro in the purple and black strips going from left to right on your field, on your screen. Chicago Nation, white strip, white from right to left. Now, looking at the wind situation, Chicago Nation will have the wind at their backs. It certainly helped Queensboro in their quest for a 2-0 lead. Can Chicago Nation claw their way back in this quarterfinal? Going short. And Claban plays it short. Gets it back. The number six going long this time to the left wing. Interception by the Salguero. And here's the number 19, Rashid Willis. This kick by Diara means Chicago Nation threw in on this near side. See some fans still trying to get back to their seats after the halftime break.
Richard Oson will take this throw in. The left wing up for Chicago Nation. Going long. Pops outside. Brought down to the byline. And the ball comes across the face of the goal. And the shot somehow deflected. Brilliant block. Looks like it was Mario Salguero, the center defensive midfielder. With a heroic save. Just throwing his body. Now, corner for Chicago. Last post. Headed out by Santion. Sutton is there. But it's going to be a Queensborough throw. Saavedra to take it. Willis checks. Saavedra goes long. Claban. Referee calling for a free kick. It's Claban. Nick Claban. 14 appearances. One of the mainstays for this Chicago Nation team. The players are saying that they were high studs when Claban released the pass. And they want action. Referee not buying in. Number nine. Jasminko Zadovich. Going long with the wind. As Zadi comes out of his goal. And the referee has a decision to make it. They go up. And was it off a Chicago Nation player? And it looks to be an injury. A serious injury. Referee immediately calling to the sidelines. Both players holding their heads. Looks to be number five, the left back Fernando, Fernando Cojate for Chicago. He's up. Chicago Nations player still on the ground. And he gets ushered off. So both players will be down to 10 men. And the referee still deciding what the call is. Is it a goal kick, a corner kick? So it's going to be a corner kick to Chicago Nation. Two players on the sidelines. Looks to be head injuries. We know for sure number five, Fernando Cojate, is one of those. Still not sure who the Chicago Nation player is. In the meantime, Olson getting ready to deliver. You can see the breeze coming towards him. It's going to be an in-swinging corner. Lofted. And the linesman points for a goal kick. Wasted effort for Chicago Nation. Chicago Nation made a Cinderella run in the 2022 fall season. They were undefeated all the way to the national championship. Had a chance to call that game against Forum 360. They lost 1-0. They lost but what a run it was, led by their captain, Reed Strain. He was also a standout player in that run. They're now one of the biggest nations in, sorry, the biggest names in semi-professional soccer. I'm looking to build off of that incredible 2021 season. Speaking of Reed Street, he plays it short, but dispossessed. And here comes Fernandez, threading it through. Rashid Willis. 
Going to the byline, looking for some support. Dispossessed. Siavedra trying to find Willis. Still Willis. Gets to the byline. The cross comes in. Couldn't find the player running in at the last post. Goal kick. Damien Gehi going short. It's Salah. Just muscle off the ball. It was Richard Wilson. Here's Wazinek back inside. Chicago Nation starting to string together some passes. Sutton. And there's the skillful Fernandez. Beautiful left foot. See Avedra going long. Looking for Willis. And Willis gets it. Rashid Willis. Top of the box. Santillon. Good defending in the end. Santillon again. Trying to turn but can't. Chicago Nation looking to counter attack. Quick counter, but bodied off by Holt. And it's going to be a throw in for Queensboro FC. Number 31, Seavedra. Right in your screen, closest to, your, to, your, to the camera for Queensboro. Coming from Columbia, played for Inter Miami 2. 17 games last season in USL 1. Queensboro certainly have an excellent pickup at right back for the Colombian. Brave play with the head up. Here comes Chicago Nation. Salguero winning it. Fernandez. The Chileno. Beautiful ball over the top. Red by strain. Here's Salah. Tiara looking for the free kick. Doesn't get it. It's a 3v3. Flanagan going to the byline. Goes down. Appeals for a penalty. Does not get it. Tiara gets a yellow card. I believe it's for simulation. He appealed for a free kick. Just seconds before Flanagan went down. And now the referee comes back and gives him a yellow card. So the centre-back, Musa Diara, goes into the referee's books. Will be interesting to see how he plays out the last 35 minutes with a yellow card. Alzati. An heroic penalty save in the first half. From Zarevich. Siavedra is Fernandez. Cool as you like, under pressure. Yeah, Vedra with the throw in. Up the line he goes to Fernandez. Two people, no problem. Still Fernandez. Trying to get that left footed shot off. Can't. Still Fernandez. Releases. Fernandez again. Pulling the strings. Tries to get past. Good tackle. Ch 
Chicago Nation getting possession but giving away. Saavedra. And Willis, Willis is in. Can't get there. But Pedro de Menge, he can. The wily Mexican. Super experienced. Fernandez. Diara wanted it back, didn't get it. A little frustrated. Claban gets himself out of trouble. Looks to be Flanagan. Tackle. Not there. Flanagan with the shot. Good save by Azate. Another heroic save by the goalkeeper for Queensborough FC2. Flanagan was played in. Still Chicago Nation comes. Played through. Diara missed the tackle. Sort of lost some of the angle, but went across Alzate. Good save. Keeps them at 2-0. Clabahan. Giving away in the end. Salguero goes down. No free kick. Chicago Nation to the byline. Cleared away in the end by Diara. Fernandez. Clabahan. What a great matchup that is. Fernandez releasing Willis. Rashid Willis, the goal scorer, cuts inside with the Ronaldo chop. Then the left footed shot just dribbles to Damien Gehi. You've heard me call Clabahan's name a couple of times. Played club soccer for Magic PSG and the University of Wisconsin. That's the number six for Chicago Nation. Here's Olson. A little dink over the top. Alzati out of his goal. Gets his hands to it. 60 minutes gone. 30 minutes left in this quarterfinal. UPSL 2022 spring playoffs. See the ball released. It's Flanagan again. But Azate is so quick off of his line. Clabahan. Chance snow. And he's offside. <clears throat> Santion just try to back heel it. To the runner but the runner was well offside by the time he got the pass off Sutton Diara coming all the way out from center back position getting to the byline the cross comes in Here's Nation. Clabahan. Dispossess. No free kick from the referee. Counter attack. Ninguxio. Fernandez. Thinks it through for Rashid Willis. Is he onside? Yes, he is. Willis, 1v1. Support comes on top of the box. Ninguxio. The Korean just couldn't get the shot off. One of the sponsors for the UPSL score, the soccer ball they're playing with. Trusty, reliable, score soccer balls. Proud sponsor of the UPSL. 
and the soccer balls they use. Mason getting some rhythm back. Probing. Sutton. Claban. Finding reach strain. The captain. The turn. Still dispossessed in the end by Holt. Seal. So, Releasing. Looks like it was Anderson Holt again. The defender coming all the way up. Still Holt. Wins it. Flanagan. Great hustle by Flanagan. You can see the intensity in the middle of the park. Touch by Salguero. Diara finds Fernandez. The Chilean has players with him. Tries to thread it through. It's a beautiful ball by Fernandez. Santion had to cut back. But it just shows the vision and the touch of the Chileno.
So, corner kick for Chicago Nation. In swinger. Headed out by Minguxio. Santion. This is Santion, the goal scorer. The center forward. 1v1. Excellent cleaning up by the captain. Strain. Slight tackle by Fernandez. Brilliant. Threading it through. Beautiful ball. Santion, 1v1. Oh, just wide. No, it's going to be an offside. Fernandez slipping the ball through for Santion. But it was an offside call before. So, end to end stuff. The corner kick by Chicago Nation. And then the counter attack by Queensborough. Could have been 2 1 on one side or 3 0 on the other. Immediately, Queensborough presses high. Damien Gehi. 22 minutes remaining in Illinois. Chicago Nation, the home team, down two goals to nil to Queensboro. The U19 team. David Villa investing in Queensboro. They're going to have a USL Championship team next season, 2023. They're going to have the first soccer-only stadium in New York, in Queens, next season. Really exciting times for Queensboro FC. In the meantime, though, corner kick, Chicago. Still probing, still trying to get one back. In swinger to the last post. Too far. You can see Alzate in no hurry to get the ball. You can see the frustration on Richard Olson raising his hands up, asking the referee, well, what are we really doing? And there is a substitution. In the number nine, we will get clarification. We have Ulrich Fonjo coming on for Queensborough. He's playing centre back, which has now allowed Musa Diara, who started off in centre back, to push up in midfield for Queens Queensborough in this second half. It has paid off so far. So, looks to be some substitutions taking place. The wind is still there in Mercy Health Sports Score. Chance for Flanagan. Another great save by Alzate to go along with his penalty save in the first half. And then he threw ball to Santian. Already has a goal to his name. Good defending in the end by Strain. Ball back in play. Save Adera. Colombian gets it back at right back. Goes down. No call from the referee. Chicago looking a little quicker in the last couple of minutes. Trying to release Flanagan, but read by Holt. Not Holt, Hans Liaza, rather. No, Anderson Holt. Now, interception. Chicago with a bit of a counter attack. Going short. Players falling and. Maybe another stoppage here. Remember, we had two and a yellow card. We'll find out who that is. We've had two players 
that had to come off the field because of head injuries on a corner kick earlier. You can see Reed Strain with the captain's armband getting close to the referee to find out, get some answers. But it's Fernandez back on his feet, the skillful Chileno. And looks like both teams are going to take advantage and get some water. Good to see the referee. It is warm summer day. A.J. Ostrowski, the coach for Chicago, asking the fourth official. A hydration break. Couldn't come at a better time for Queensboro. They've been defending for large periods of time against the Chicago Nation team. So, we're about to get back underway. 73, 74 minutes gone. Free kick to Queensboro. Rashid Willis in the mix. But Chicago come away with it. Up the line it goes. Getting to the byline. Looking to cross. But the keeper... And Zate, just so quick and aware. Excellent shot stopper as well. Rashid Willis lays it back for Seavedra. It's going to be Chicago throw. Ryan Davis. Vida Productions, proud to bring you the UPSL Spring Season 2022 quarterfinals. The winner of this match will play Beeman United, who already beat Lakeland United 3 0 in the other quarterfinal. Fernandez is there. Looking for Rashid Willis. Santiago in the forward, trekking and getting into the box. Now on top of the box. Looking for him. Can't find him. Good read. Oh, beautiful play. The dribble and the free kick given up and it's going to be a yellow card. And it's going to be the newcomer. Ulrich Fanjo, who's playing centre back, gives up a professional foul and goes into the referee's box. Seventy-six minutes gone now. Fourteen remaining in a, in regular time. You can bet there will be injury time and extra time because there have been a number of injuries in this second half. Queensboro trying to hang on. Chicago Nation trying to claw their way back. Going long, trying to bypass the midfield. But it falls to this man, Diara. Salguero. Not many substitutions by Queensboro. Just the one, Fanjo. You can see the number 16 coming in as well, Joel Favard. Player goes down to the byline. 
Corner kick for Chicago. You can bet the white shirts will be pushing up, trying to find just to get one back to create the conversation of an equalizer. Outswinger, low, driven. A bit of a change, cleared out by Diara. Oh, it turned out to be a beautiful clearance because Rashid Willis is on his bike and he's going down the line, plays it across. 3 0 Santian. Oh, the keeper bundles him over. What would the referee think of here? The experience. Damon Gay, he came flying out of his goal and took out Santian, bundling him over. The referee is waiting to get for him to get up. We'll wait to see what happens here. Is this going to be a red? It's a yellow card and a free kick for Queensborough. Santian still on the ground. And it's going to be a red card. A red card given to Queensborough. Not sure if it's Diara or Santian. Salguera is walking off the defensive midfield. Did he say something or do something off the ball? Waiting to see what the verdict is. Number 18, Thomas Oruk, is in the game for Queensborough. Minguk Seau, the free kick specialist, has the ball in his hand, but a red card given to one of the Queensborough players. I still see Diara on the field. Is it Santian? Is it? Or is it the holding the field Salguero? Salguero? When the dust has cleared, we will find out. So, as the time continues to tick off the clock, Chicago Nation still down two goals to nil. Queensborough now down a man, 10 men, a red card. Santion tangling up with the goalkeeper, Damon Gehi. I believe an elbow was thrown when they were on the ground, and the forward, Santion, who scored the penalty, after just three minutes in this match, may have been sent off. Free kick specialist and Korean Minguk Seo is waiting. From the looks of it, it looks like Chicago and uh, Queensboro are not going to push too many players up. You now see Rashid Willis pushing up. So, free kick. Seo taking his time. Of course, Queensborough, who have the free kick, are in no rush to take this. They're down a man and up two goals. Can Seo come up with something special? 
Free kick, see you. Oh! Just over the bar. It was clever up and over and dipped just enough, clipped the top of the bar. Goal kick, Chicago. Chicago Nation trying to get something back. Number nine, Zadovich missed the penalty in the first half. Salah's gone to left back. And here they come through the middle again. Trying to go out wide. Sia Vedra, the Colombian, trying to find. Just miscontrolled it. Sutton back heals it. And it's Olson. Finnegan. Sutton, top of the box, clips it in, Zadovich, Zadovich on his left foot, oh and a Sutton he's in, tackle from behind but all ball, Rashid Willis helping out and just pushing Sutton off balance. We're into the 85th, Queensboro 2. Chicago Nation Mill. The winner plays Beeman United in the finals of the East, semi finals of UPSL. And Fernandez has broken away. Now it's Rashid Willis. The shot saved by Demingehi. It's Rob Strain coming all the way up from, from the back. Reed Strain, rather. Sutton. Chicago Nation being patient, and that's because Queensboro are sitting tight and compact. So there's going to be another substitution coming up. Player comes off. Flicked on. Still alive. Fanjo. Free kick, the centre back wins the free kick. Chicago is going to be Queensborough ball. They're going to leave it for Alzate, who will certainly take some time off the clock. So it was Mick Mali, the centre midfielder, coming off the number five for Chicago Nation. Switching the play. Now they have some room on the right hand side. Support comes. But a poor touch means Queensboro throw. 2022 spring season. UPSL playoffs. Brought to you by Vita Productions. My name is Ryan Davis. Proud to be here. To be part of this occasion. Chicago Nation. Down two goals to nil to the U19 Queensboro FC2, whose first team will be making their way to the USL Championship next season. Chicago Nation losing in the final four earlier this season to Forum 360. Now they're about to be knocked out just before that stage. Flanagan, poor corner, poor free kick, rather. It's still alive, the back heel. Oh, just wide. Possibly the most powerful back heel you'll see. 
but it was sixes and sevens at the back. No one can control it. And look at this back heel. Just past the last post. No chance for Zate. But it remains 2-0 Queensborough. Going to be a Chicago throw in. They're deep in their own half. Going to need something on this play just to open up the discussion of an equalizer. Richard Olson, the left winger, going to the byline. Gets the cross. It's a good cross. The header. Oh, what a chance. Golden opportunity. Richard Olsen going to the byline and delivers a peach of a cross. Player coming in at the back post. He had all the time in the world. Didn't get over it. And Queensboro are going to take their time on this goal kick. That was the play. That was the one to bring them back into the game. Down to the byline. A chance for Queensborough. Damon Gehi. Does his smart thing. Goes long. We're into the 90th minute. Sutton. All the experience in the world. Can't get it back right now. Ball over the top. Richard Olsen, can he do it again? Into the box he goes. Olsen cuts inside. Good defending in the end by Queensborough. Good support. I believe that was number 16, Joel Favard, coming from midfield. The man with the red shoes. Long throw. And Alzate wraps this one up. Here's that flick on harmlessly into the keeper's arms. Alzate clears. Sutton nods it down. Back out to the left side. Sutton. Can he get across? Fernandez. And Queensboro. Looks like they're going to see this one out. We're a minute now into stoppage time. 91 minutes on the clock. A lot of extra time because of all these stoppages in the second half. Numerous injuries. And Chicago Nature and very politely puts the ball on the corner flag for Queensborough. Fernandez, the star midfielder from Chile, will take his time. And you can bet Queensborough are not going to push up too many players. Short. Willis. Oh, and the shot by Sale. Dramatic stop. Great block. Here's Strain, the captain. Finding Olsen, who's found a bit of form in the last couple of minutes. Will he go back to the left foot? Oh, well done. Took too long. Now reinforcements come. But a clever ball gets to the byline. Can there be a cross? There is a cross. Fanjo. Trying to release Sevadera. But Sutton retrieves. 
the switch of play by Zalavich. Oh, finally it's cleared away. Looks like by Diara. Check on the watch from the referee. We're about to hit three minutes into injury time. We expected a lot of injury time because of the injuries in the second half. Not sure how much the referee is willing to play. Queensborough down to 10 men. Goal scorer Jonathan Santion scored the first goal. A penalty after three minutes has been sent off with the altercation with the goalkeeper Damon Gehi. Chicago sizing up a long throw. Down the line they go. Diara is there. The cross still comes in. And it's out of play. Goal kick, Queensboro. Out by Alzate. But here comes Chicago Nation again. They are making use of their extra man in midfield. Chicago taking the time, building up. A missed trap and Diara is there. Chicago wins it back. The tackle. Referee calls a free kick. And Chicago Nation will have a chance to pump this one right into the box. So, 95 minutes gone. We're five minutes into injury time. Free kick for Chicago Nation. They need something, anything. Down two goals to nil. They go short. When would the cross come in? And it goes high and wide. And you have to believe that that will be the last chance for Chicago Nation. Down two goals to nil. Queensborough down to 10 men. Not going to matter though. Time is on their side. It's going to be a goal kick for Alzate and Queensboro. Alzate taking his time. And it's going to be another stoppage time. Alzate may be on a yellow card. He may get his second. And Alzate. May be sent off. We're just trying to get. He wasted time. He was on a yellow card before. I think he just got his second yellow card for time wasting and he's been sent off queensborough now down to nine men more importantly they get past this game they have lost their goalkeeper now alzate and they've lost their center forward in jonathan santian so even though they're about to win the damage has been done as their goalkeeper and their star forward won't be able to play in the second game
So, will we eventually get this goal kick? Daniel Alzate, taking way too long to take this free the goal kick, has been sent off for his second yellow card. The reserve goalkeeper is now in. And he's going to clear it. Played over the top. A chance to go 3-0 up. And the shot is wide. Goes behind. Demon Gay, he has a chance to get the ball back. More minutes off the clock for Queensborough to maybe secure this victory. Eight and a half minutes gone into injury time. Chicago Nation. It's Finnegan. Still they push. Looking for anything. Into the box it goes. A header is over bar. But an offside call wouldn't have counted. Clever ball in. Brave header. And the Queensboro players have to be asking, how long will injury time go on? Nine minutes gone into injury time. Oh, and a suicide goal kick. <clears throat> Caleb Taylor is in the game for Queensboro. <clears throat> Everyone back for Queensboro in their own half. Ball slipped through. A shot. And the reserve keeper comes out. And a brave, brave save at the feet of the striker. Kicks it long. Still the referee plays. We're 10 minutes into injury time. And that's it. The referee finally blows it off. Queensboro FC2 come in to Illinois and upset Chicago Nation. The U19 boys from Queens continue their run, defeating Chicago Nation by two goals to nil. Goals from Jonathan Santian and Rashid Willis was enough to get them into the finals of the East, the semifinals of the UPSL. It was Diara in the first three minutes, brought down, penalty call, Santian delivers a beauty of a penalty. And the visitors take a 1-0 lead after three minutes. Then, to the byline, Rashid Willis somehow gets it past Damon Gehi, and it's 2-0 after 11 minutes for the visitors. Chicago Nation can't believe it. They're stunned. And that will do it. For all of us from Vita Sports, Vita Productions, my name is Ryan Davis. Queensboro FC2 march on to play Beeman United in the final of the East. They beat Chicago Nation by two goals to nil. Thank you for joining us. We'll be back for Vita Productions for the UPS playoffs right here. See you soon. <laughs>